with great pleasure to have Matthew Manasero talking to GolfingIndian.com. Thanks very much. It's a real pleasure. Let's first ask you about what you feel like being here at the Golf Business Forum. Uh, it's a great couple of days. Uh, I'm just getting uh, a hint of it, uh, but I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, thoughts exchange uh, that, you know, it, it's great from from this different perspective. Uh, what I witnessed was a, was a really good uh, talk about data, talent. So, not, don't get too technical, but use your talent, but get help from that side. So, I think there is a lot that uh, gets uh, you know analyzed and uh, it's great for I guess it's great for journalists it's great for everybody it's great for for the game of golf in general to to have a lot of discussion it's it's nice about India because you know as you know Indians have been playing uh, pretty well particularly on the Asian tour and I can't deny that they're doing pretty well now even on the European tour who have you played with what is your impression of Indian players India in golf is growing a lot uh, especially obviously with Jiv Mika Singh being the pioneer um, as uh, after him a lot of uh, a lot of young talents have obviously grown looking up to him he's done really well on European tour but now there is uh, I mean I personally played with Gaganjit Bular and Anir Banlahiri which I uh, I understood that he just won on, on the Asian tour so uh, and I and I actually played with in, in Malaysia with him and he's, he's a really nice guy great player very talented I think it's a, a kind of golf that uh, that grows a lot of talents uh, it's uh, n not many of them are very technical but are very talented they enjoy golf they smile they seem like uh, you know, nice characters for golf and uh, I think Indian golf is growing a lot. I heard the entire talk about how technology can be put to use for golf. Uh, how do you think that confluence comes to play for you? Uh, I think Ed Smith um, talked really well and, and balanced the two parts really well. Uh, and from you know an athlete point of view, it's uh, obviously really important to understand how much data can help you, but it's also really important to understand that it can ruin you. It can ruin your talent. It can kind of uh, you, you can get a mach you can become a machine instead of a, instead of an athlete with with the, instead of an artist artist. So yeah, it's, it was uh, something that I've been thinking about before. That it's a discussion that I've been having with the, with my coach already, and and it's something that goes around the game of golf golf uh, has been going around for a while, and uh, it's definitely something I gave some thought before, but always nice to get some impressions and uh, get some impression from an engineer which uh, obviously data is everything there uh, and then they add talent to data so uh, different perspectives are always are always nice yes of course the Abu Dhabi tourism authority has supported you for some time now what do you feel about growing the game in the region well, I, I think uh, Abu Dhabi deserves such a big event uh, is developing towards golf a lot towards tourism a lot uh, but it's doing so much for golf uh, and HSBC was really kind to bring it here. Uh, so I, I, I think it's, it, it fits the, it fits perfect. Uh, it fits perfect for the game of golf, and it fits perfect for Abu Dhabi, which I'm sure it's, it's really proud to host such a big event. Matteo, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Great.